I'm Jim Folks. I'm a heritage advocate for Surrey and kind of known all over the province as the telegraph guy. And my research in the telegraph lines led me to history of Surrey and a lifetime of surveying has given me a lot of knowledge that I've been trying to pass on to the people of Surrey about their wonderful heritage. My first introduction to Surrey heritage was that I went into the Surrey mapping and engineering branch to look at their old plans. And I kept asking for plans about this subject of this telegraph line or this railway line. And they say, how do you know all this stuff? I says, well, that's my hobby. He says, you know, you should be on our Heritage Commission. You know more about our mapping and surveying than anybody else in our whole engineering staff. So they put the right word in to the councillors and uh, I got appointed to the Surrey Heritage Advisory Committee. I spent my lifetime as a surveyor and surveyors are the first ones that go into a old piece of property, you know, an old barn or an old homestead house on it and we put the stakes in and along comes the bulldozers. So I was watching from moment to moment the destruction of the past and once in a while I'd see something that, oh, that's just too nice to be sent into the garbage bin. So I would take things to Doug Hooser at the, at the old Surrey Museum. And he says, oh, that's pretty nice. Where'd you find that? And I said, well, you know, we were bulldozing. And he says, oh, just saved by the grace of God, we would have lost that. A few years after I was on the Heritage Commission, the uh, proponents for preservation of green timbers came to me and they said, uh, you know, we're not getting very far with this. Uh, they have all kinds of development plans for green timbers. But uh, you, you seem to have some good ideas about heritage in Surrey. I said, do we have any in green timbers? I said, oh, sure you do. You've got uh, forestry, and if anything else in Surrey is heritage, it's forestry. So, um, and you've got the inaugural plantation. This was the, the 121 trees that were planted by uh, big shots in BC and forestry. And uh, they said, well, we can't find it. We've hired surveyors to go find it, we couldn't. I says, we hired the wrong one. So out I went with uh, Herman Schutze and, and uh, the Green Timber Society, and sure enough, we used a compass, we went in the forest, and we found all these unique trees. A good part of that was no one had had heritage. That was my big accomplishment. And it is a lasting legacy for Surrey. When I would play as a child in forested areas of Surrey and see the magnificent huge stumps with the logging notches in them, the springboard notches, I would think, what was here before I came? And so now I'm part of this new part of Surrey. So that recognition and not necessarily preserving it, but certainly recognizing it is what's driven me all these years to do this. And I thank my family for having put up with my time off. <laughs> it brings me to tears sometimes. I think that um, oh, well, how much time went into all this, but uh, it's had some significant results. And I hope Surrey's happy to carry on with this preservation. <laughs>